Today is day 151 of the year 2021, and the date is May 31st, 2021. I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Chronological One Year Reading Bible. Today's scripture is from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 14, starting at verse 1. A wise woman builds her home, but foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Those who follow the right path fear the Lord. Those who take the wrong path despise him. A fool's proud talk becomes a rod that beats him, but the words of the wise keep them safe. Without oxen, a stable stays clean. But you need a strong ox for a large harvest. An honest witness does not lie. A false witness breathes lies. A mocker seeks wisdom and never finds it, but knowledge comes easily to those with understanding. Stay away from fools, for you won't find knowledge on their lips. The prudent understand where they're going, but fools deceive themselves. Fools make fun of guilt, but the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can, can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive the reward. Only simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things, and schemers are hated. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evil people will bow before good people. The wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. The poor are despised even by the neighbors, while the rich have many friends. It is a sin to be little one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. If you plan to do evil, you'll be lost. If you plan to do good, you'll receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Wealth is a crown for the wise. The effort of the fools leads only fool yields only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives. A false witness is a traitor. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for their children. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Those who oppress the poor insult the maker. But helping the poor honors him. The wicked are crushed by disaster, but the godly have a refuge when they die. Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. Proverbs chapter 15, starting at verse 1. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. A tongue, the tongue of the wise, makes knowledge, makes knowledge appealing. But the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping his eye on both the evil and the good. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Whoever learns from correction is wise. There is treasure in the house of the godly, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise give good advice. The heart of a fool has none to give. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but he delights in the prayers of the upright. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue godliness. Whoever abandons the right path will be severely disciplined. Whoever hates correction will die. Even death and destruction hold no secrets from the Lord. How much more does he know the human heart? Mockers hate to be corrected, 
so they stray away from the wise, stay away from the wise. A glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. A wise person is hungry for knowledge, while the fool feeds on trash. For the despondent, every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Better to have little with fear for the Lord than to have a great treasure and inner turmoil. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. A hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an open highway. Sensible children bring joy to the father. Foolish children despise their mother. Foolishness brings joy to those with no sense. A sensible person stays on the right path. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. The path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he protects the property of widows. The Lord detests evil plans, but he delights in pure words. Greed brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. A cheerful, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. If you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. If you reject discipline, you'll only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honor. Proverbs chapter 16, starting at verse 1. We can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. People may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. Commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. The Lord has made everything for his own purposes, even the wicked for a day of disaster. The Lord detests the proud. They will surely be punished. Unfailing love and faithfulness make atonement for sin. By fearing the Lord, people avoid evil. When people's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. Better to have little with godliness than to be rich and dishonest. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. The king speaks with divine wisdom. He must never judge unfairly. The Lord demands accurate scales and balances. He sets the standards for fairness. The king detests wrongdoing, but his rule is built on justice. The king is pleased with the words from righteous lips. He loves those who speak honestly. The anger of the king is a deadly threat. The wise will try to appease him. When the king smiles, there is life. His favor refreshes like a spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold and good judgment than silver? The path of the virtuous leads away from evil. Whoever follows that path is safe. Pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. Better to live humbly with the poor than to share plunder with the proud. Those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust the Lord will be joyful. The wise are known for their understanding and pleasant words are persuasive. Discretion is a life-giving fountain to those who possess it. But discipline is wasted on fools. From a wise mind comes wise speech. The words of the wise are persuasive. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. It is good for workers to have an appetite. An empty stomach drives them on. Scoundrels create trouble. Their words are a destructive blaze. A troublemaker plants seeds of strife. Gossip separates the best of friends. Violent people mislead their companions, leading them down a harmful path. With narrowed eyes, people plot evil. With a smirk, they plan their mischief. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. Better to be patient than powerful. 
better to have self-control than conquer a city. We may throw the dice, but the Lord determines how they fall. That is a reading for day 151. God bless each and every one of you, and may God be with you until we meet again.